one. And I, you see, I, I have a friend, rounds them up, catches them, ships them over to me. You know, uh, some of them, uh, they use them in the military to flush out those natives. You know, the, uh, um, whatever they call themselves. Uh, the carrots? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. They send them into the woods and, uh, yeah. You're good at hunting people down, yeah? Mm. Oh, yeah, shit! Um, I just realized what? Ensign was like, huh, she smells funny. To Robin. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> no big deal, there's a racist dog. <laughs> yeah, great. Oh, wow. That's I, why she was like, huh, that one smells funny. I thought it was because of the, 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 the muse. Like the dog could sense the the presence or something is what my, as what Mike thought. <laughs> Maybe both. Maybe well, probably more the racist thing. <laughs> now that that's that's more practical. Dogs right? be racist. Yeah, I mean, Brian's racist on Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> and and Brian is a good representation of dogs. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so. Uh, yeah, like by by like watching him and seeing like does he does he beat does he abuse these dogs too? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, long story short, uh, I I want to get yeah uh, a big old killer dog, kind of uh, on on the leash. And uh, I'm going to murder this man and feed him to his own dogs. <laughs> you gonna uh, Ramsey um, Bolton? Ramsey Bolton? Him? Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah. So. So uh, like, I'm going to flash some money. I'm going to ask for that dog, uh, you know, and then when he collars it up and whatnot, I'm going to yeah. So kill I mean, him. <laughs> he he just like gives you the leash. Okay. Uh, so why don't you give me a um, like you you just w which dog do you pick out? Do you pick out one that's like exceptionally murderous looking? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, so give me a, like, oh man, a survival roll, I guess. Okay. Or you could do a persuasion roll at minus two. Oh, shit. Oh, watch out, cat. My dice fell off my lap. I gotta get my dice. I'm dealing with a cat. I'm trying to kill a guy with a dog. <laughs> All right, I got a two. A two? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I'll, I'll muscle so, through it. So the, uh, the dog, um... As soon as it like you, you get it out of the cage, it just like jumps on you. Yep. Um, hey, I grab it. Like, oh, you know, I grab it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, yeah, you're. It does not hit your parry. Okay. Um. So you sort of like grab onto its uh, its shoulder. Uh, do you want to give me a, like an athletics roll? Yep. Whatever you want. I'm not. Give me tasks. I need this done. Dibs, hate, <laughs> Dibs hates this man with a passion. <laughs> ah, I got a two. Uh, I don't care. I'm saving the Benny for the kill shot. Oh. Dog got a one. Yes. Um, it, knows, it knows I'm trying to help it. <laughs> so you just kind of like push it off of you towards the guy and drop the leash. Okay. Um, And the dog like recognizes you're a more difficult target. So, it just jumps on the guy instead. Okay. I uh, go over to, like, rush and try to help him. But I pretty much help pin him down. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see if the dog uh, is able to nom this guy yeah, before like, you I, get over Yeah, it. like, I, I grab his wrist and his head and pretty much let his neck be open. Mm-hmm. Okay, so oh my god, no! No! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, a savage! Yeah. Yeah, so the dog jumps on him, and yeah, like, you, you grab his, his uh, like, shoulder, and the dog just, like, rips his throat out, and, uh, he, he dies gurgling and, and with a stifled scream. The hmm. dog keeps, like, tearing into him. Oh, that's a shame. And he kind of, like, uh... The dog sort of like snarls at you uh, as as you uh, 
are like close and sort of snaps at your hand, uh, but goes mm-hmm. back to like savaging the guy's uh, bloodied corpse. Okay. Um, there are like people walking around in the market. A couple. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't. Ah, uh, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> so insincere. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what to do. I couldn't. The dog slipped away. Apparently, he hated this man. Um, uh, maybe you shouldn't be a dick to animals. <laughs> yep. So, like a couple of people walk by. It's in the evening. Um, they sort of look over at you and just like keep walking. Good. I honestly wouldn't even care. <laughs> Like, uh, we kind of saw you shove him down. Yeah, that's fine. I killed him. <laughs> they don't even. I yeah. mean, even if, if no. they do, though, they obviously don't care. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna let the dog just eat him, and uh, I'm gonna go rob his fucking apartment. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Just okay. go up there. Yep. Take, uh, I mean, everything. he he uh, he did lock the door. Uh, but you can you can kick the door in. I'll try to block pick first, so I don't make too much okay. racket. Um, four. Ah, oh, yeah. There you go. It's a pretty cheap block. All right. So. Um, you search. He has. Uh. I got your money back, Tara. Yeah. <laughs> he has uh 650 marks in a little chest under his bed. Okay. Hey. Um. Other than that. Not too much. Yep. Um, any... A collection of, like, whips and spikes and stuff. Okay. A bunch of collars and leashes. Okay. Uh, any... Um, fucking... Oh, what's it called? Like, uh, contact information for his buddy? Um, that gets the dogs? There is at some a couple, like letters of correspondence um it doesn't list names but uh the address is to a place in varkalish varkalish dog just like the big city address okay oh i I missed like an r oh no varkalish or car Car. Uh, it's var apostrophe college oh my spelling's right all right so there uh, Dibs is extremely satisfied with his work tonight. Yeah. And, uh, Killed the animal abuser. <laughs> yep, and I'm gonna track down this guy eventually and kill him too. Alright. Vigilante justice. Yep. So. Alright. <laughs> Leave. Alright. Work well done. Yes, work indeed. Well. The pirates for the ethical treatment of animals. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely. Uh... That, that that was a little of Mike showing through. I yeah, I don't blame you. Oh, Mr. Dibs had a dog when he's growing up. Yeah. Cause yeah, that's that's tough. That's the type of shit I wish I could do. All the YouTube video shit I see. Oh yeah. Or not YouTube video, but like, yeah, Facebook like stuff. I'm like, oh, if I, you know, these people. We're oh, well, we were in a Savage Worlds campaign. Yeah, <laughs> like that kind of thing. So you got to take out your your murderous frustrations in the, like, therapy. It's therapy. <laughs> no, there was just like the, the the one example I mentioned is like these people in or Turkey, they're dog fighters, and their dog lost, so they cut its ears off for punishment. And, and that's, that's like tough. that, like oh my god, I would rape them both with fucking spiked dildos if I could, and then you know kill them. So, so I need yeah. to get that out in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, it's only slightly out here. Yeah. And now we have Vincent. What? And now we, we have Vincent. Have... Yes, yep. exactly. <laughs> um, uh, ice pirates from getting into your room? Yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> Next uh, time Black I, Man comes, Ensign will get him. Oh, yeah. I looked, the, uh, I looked at the profile for a dog slash wolf. They have a notice D10 and the alertness edge. Yeah, um, this dog also has um, D8 fighting and D8 strength. Oh. 
Uh, he's a big angry dog. Big angry dog. Wow, he's one one step lower than me. Like in yeah. both. And uh Yeah. Big muscles. <sighs> yeah, nice. Uh I so I you that was the last two points of one of my talismans. I'm gonna give her another <laughs> of my animal control talismans. <laughs> Just in case she needs it. So, All right. See. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, Ensign's a kind Our of grumpy friend. dog. Um, after the the beast friend wears off, uh, he still is like okay with you because you know you uh, negotiated your deal. Uh, he gets that, but like, he's the kind of dog where like if you give him some food, don't don't go near him. Yeah. yeah. He'll bite your face off. He'll think you're taking his food. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to instruct the crew not to fuck with Ensign. Yeah. Because <laughs> he, 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 yeah, he may rip your throat out. Mm -hmm. So I would I would come up to Ensign after Beast thing wears off, and he then I'd realize he's, like, much more aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, oh. <laughs> um, I'm also going to... There, can I buy like a big bag of kibble? I got there. Kibble. Did, did, did the die? Did the guy have anything? Uh, yeah, he had dog food. All right. So Mr. Yeah. Dibs, like the next morning, comes back with just like a bunch of dog food. <laughs> Not sure where he got it from. But... A couple of extra collars, some leashes. Yep. <laughs> I got like there's like a cabinet. There's like a, a dresser in the captain's quarters that has not had any like amount of clothes in it at all, and now it's just filled with dog food. Yep. <laughs> nice. Here you There's go, like Cap. A, a big like a latch on it so that Ensign can't get in. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he'd try. Captain. Uh huh. Here's your money back. And oh. I, I toss you fifty. <laughs> uh, no, a hundred. I guess I didn't know how much you paid for it. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, but he was only fifty. He was in deal. Oh. What's with the one, the three, the one missing leg and I? Ah, well, you got a better deal, or I got a better deal. Oh. Uh. Persuasive or? Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, That's let that. me let me know if uh. We're heading towards Varkalish. Uh, I will do that. And I kind of go and give the di uh, Ensign a pet. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't oh, bite um, you. Yep. I'm going to, I mean, I'm not going to use a talisman, but I am going to try to introduce Ensign to, uh, to, to, to Nubs. Is that his <laughs> name? I forget his fucking name. Yeah, Which one? The bowl name. holder? Uh, no, uh, Sleepy's backup helmsman. Okay, yeah, we I, we call them fucking something like that, Nub nubbins or something. Yeah. I'll say um the the bowl holder since we haven't assigned who it is, we'll say it's um Hashim the slave that you guys got from. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm not good at voting anyway. Yep. Yeah, the guy I said could come with. <laughs> the if like you dock the door. worker. Yeah. Um, I, I told him he could come with if he opened the door. Yeah, he's the bowl holder. Hey, Hashim, I got a new job for you. Well, I was gonna... <laughs> no, I'm not gonna make Hashim do that. That's... He was, he was, he's an ex-slave, but... Oh, uh, I suppose that's true. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of rough. I, I don't want to make, I don't want to force him to do that. But Nubs! <laughs> but, sure. But Nubs will force him to he, hold him. He is now a scooper of Ensign's poops. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, yeah, that seems a task fitting of him. Oh, I see, I see. If it would have, uh, if we would have kept that other guy on ship, the the, the coward, that would have been his job. Oh, ah, oh, shit, yeah, it would have been. But maybe we'll meet him again in the future. Maybe. Hey, you want you want to get or back on the ship? Maybe we'll find another coward. Yeah, or another guy will fail his fucking fear roll. Yeah. Becomes yeah, the new poop scooper. Yep. <laughs> Edson's been taking some mighty big dumps lately. <laughs> we're gonna need I, to double I up. Have if I were you. <laughs> yep. I'd roll that. So yeah, I'll, I'll try to I'll try to get them off on the right foot. 
Okay, let's see here. We'll see. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, I don't want our backup helmsman to be missing a hand. So, uh, Nubs is is uh, very uh, very afraid of this dog. <laughs> um, That's oh. not gonna work. Oh, he's the just dog a big puppy. Doesn't seem to care about him. Oh, non. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the dog kind of like faces down with him, and he just kind of like falls to his knees, and the dog just sort of like sniffs him, and is like, ah, this is an unimportant person. Yeah, yeah. this is beneath me. <laughs> Does he urinate on him? <laughs> uh, no, he just kind of like All right. ignores him. Yeah, Scott. All right, Nubs, you are now a scooper of Ensign's poops. Uh, okay, Captain. And wiper of his puddles. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Don't worry. Uh, Someone will eventually become a coward and take your job. I like how we just had a random descriptor of sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> He's the guy everyone shits on. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's, it's good. It's good. At least it's not a random descriptor of, like, rapey. Well, yeah, you don't want those people on your crew. Um, All right. Okay, so uh, in terms of purchasing stuff, the last, I think the last thing for Alma here, uh, Rum is in in uh, high demand here, so you'd be selling it at 500 marks a unit. Nice. Hot dog. Oh. All right, I'll get on that math. Also, did you make any boozes? Did what? Did you did you make any boozes? Like a list of uh, things. Oh no, I forgot to do that. All right. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm gonna buy the most expensive bottle again. Okay. Uh, what kind of alcohol? Like I'm going for. I'm always going for like uh, whiskey, but it's always rum. So. Like, do you say whiskey? Yeah, I'm always going for whiskey because it's it's rarer. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, you find some. Uh, you actually do find some r pretty rare whiskey here. Yeah. Uh, it's um, uh, Carwald uh, Red Whiskey. Alright. How much is that going to run me? Um, For a bottle, probably like... 200 marks rough all right done it's it's from halfway across the uh across the globe oh. and uh quite valuable there as well nice do i know it yeah uh it's it's a it's swill <laughs> uh, a favorite drink of the the people of carwald um which is to the north of your your old home yep um by a little bit Notable for its like reddish tint, um, because uh, it, it comes from like a, a specific uh, um, what, a distillery uh, in the the north of Carwald that rumored the uh, uh, they the place they distilled is like bloodied ground. Oh, okay. That sort of thing. All right. I guess I. Real quick, without role playing too much, I uh, just ask how much would they pay for a barrel of this? A lot, Kay. probably. I say I will be back in town. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we may, uh, our my vessel may come across uh, a shipment of this. <laughs> Doubt it. Uh, want to take that bet? Eh. If, sure. If I'm back. Within a month, with a barrel of this, will you? Twenty marks. All right. And you'll purchase it. Sure. All right. Good man. Good man. What's your name? <laughs> Whoever you're talking to. Yeah. What's your uh, name? This is um, Amir in the Red Lantern. All right, Amir, Red Lantern. Cool. 
It's either that or the... Um... Uh, yeah, it's probably the Red Lantern. Cool. It's like the, the nicest place. Well, uh, I look forward to getting to know you better upon my return. How many days did it take to get down to here? Uh, three. I, I already deducted the... Oh, okay. The food, yeah. Um, how many marks would it be to uh, commission a silver-plated spiked dog collar? Ho, 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 ho. Uh, <laughs> that um, would be so mean. For bling purposes only. I'm probably, sure. like, just a bunch of silver spikes. Like, like uh, 150 marks. Alright, I will, I will commission they're getting a lot of silver work. Yeah. They like when we come into town. <laughs> I mean, certain people don't. Like, the dog owners. Or the, yeah. The dog fighting community doesn't enjoy it anymore. We can live with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, and you guys got 82 marks uh, for that. The rum. Like the ship or share? You guys got it for for your two shares. Oh, that's so we just got 82. 40, 42 marks to share. So you got another 80, 84 marks. Cool. I didn't know that. Nice. Good job, Robin and Doomy. Keeping us paid. Yeah. Doesn't pay for all of your silver plated needs, but. Captain and the first mate are running around doing dog business. Mm -hmm. We got to see a man about a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and I did, right. and I did mine, yeah, in the middle of the night. So now morning, and then we're what? Do, so morning, did the dog food. We were out, we were doing the talking. We assigned ensign poop scooper. So now what are we doing? Are we shipping out of here? Setting the sail. So. Yep. We have we have to go yep. find a shipwreck that we kind of remember where it is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um. Setting sail once more. Oh, and, I, and I guess, um, uh, like our last words to dude would have been find us a gold ship to rob. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, yeah, he's looking for gold. You want gold. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, well, I mean, really, any ship with value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it, yeah, if it's they're transporting bank, if it's a bank ship, I don't care. Just find us something with lots of riches. Any kind of values. Mm -hmm. um, all right, I am going to go to the bathroom real quick. But then, hurry up! After that we'll get into the the ocean adventure. Um. Um. What What do you guys think? So, um. I'm trying to figure out like a. I'm trying to figure out like a smell or something. That we can attach to all of our crew members. That I can pair to uh, to Ensign and be like, "Hey, if you smell this, they're probably okay." Uh, could be. Although if that ever got out, it, it kind of ruined the point of with him. Yeah. Yep. So, eh, I'll probably pass on that. I was going to say, it could be this certain type of rum, like this expensive shit that's only in the Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was thinking, like... Or whiskey, I mean. But I don't know how long that smell would stick around. Yeah. Just, like, dunk everyone's left shoe in it. <laughs> and like, here, wear this. Don't wash it. <laughs> Not that you wash your clothes anyway, you dirty fucking pirates. I don't know if there's a good way to do that. Yep. Yeah. Other, I mean, we could do that with like some kind of herb to like something. Put it, you know, keep it. They all keep it in their pocket or something. Or even a dog yeah, treat. But also, like, if anyone ever like figured out. Well, we changed the what herb. Every, one thing was. We changed the herb every month or so. I mean, if someone figures it out, then the guard dog doesn't attack them, and we. I like, I like, are you, are you thinking just for like everyday use or for like boarding actions? Everyday use. No, I don't like. 
I'd prefer <laughs> if the dog could just wander around the ship and not get into trouble and attack people, rather than just coop up, coop him up in my cabin the whole time. Maybe that'll just happen over time. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I I do have fifteen points worth of beast friend, and we can like probably figure out how to. After enough time, him realizing he's away from the that life. Yeah, maybe. It takes a long time. In maybe real... with the beast friend. Yeah, it takes a long time in real life, but you know, with beast friend, magic. With magic. <laughs> And, um, yeah, that's probably the easiest way. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, old Midge seems to always have some in stock too, so we always pick up more. Yeah, she might even have some tricks too for getting. She has a dog. Yeah, <laughs> she might be a dog whisperer. Um, five minutes with Midge, and it's a little puppy. <laughs> so he's a cute little warhound. Yep. <laughs> old lady um, with this monster warhound. <laughs> <laughs> but she's a witch, so I wouldn't be phased at all. Yeah. Um, all right, so you guys set out from Alna here. Um, so you go around the the northern point, um, and the uh, so I'm I'm guessing because you were uh, you you sort of marked it on your map uh, the general location, so it was someplace out here. Um, but uh, Tara, why don't you give me a navigation roll? Can I help? Boy. Um. If not, no problem. No, not for navigation. Okay. This is, yeah. Just, just pretty much as high as as you as you uh, can make it is is good. Which is why I'm using Benny's. <laughs> oh, what a well spent Benny! My yeah. ten exploded. Oh, and it exploded again. This is fantastic. Twenty seven. All right, so you sail to a random point in the ocean. Yes. Random to most, but Tara, you're you're pretty certain that this is where you saw it. I feel like <sighs> the wind kind of feels the same. <laughs> I mean, I put, I marked the spot. It had to be I, someplace near here. I th- I threw a bucket in the water here. I don't know where the bucket's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like the ocean doesn't stay in the same place. Right. What the hell? <laughs> um. Obviously. There's just open ocean around you. I'm gonna grab a drink. Um, um but I'm gonna. Hmm. Uh, I could cast detect arcana as like a ritual and boost the Sound ring. Down a, really a magic thing. Like a little magic pulse or something. Yeah. Magic yeah. radar. Yeah. Ding. <laughs> I think. Yeah, that Ding. sounds cool. I'm gonna do that. Ding. All right. Oh. Uh, so it's going to be... Uh, Alice by boosting her magic. All right. That's a good way to do so, it. I'll do times two power points, so it's... And I don't get hurt. Ten, or no, eight mile range. Okay. Smart That's similar. Pretty damn far. Yeah. There we go. All right. You got two dice. Nice. I think that's probably all I need. It's not really an area of effect or duration or damage. Do I need this augmented effect, just like a, a random times two, or is the range? Uh, no, the range would be sufficient. You're not really doing anything other than detecting magic in a very I mean, large area. If I detect multiple points of magic, that's interesting too, I guess. No. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, casting time in one hour, blah blah blah, times PowerPoint. $25 or marks per PowerPoint. So, okay, so it's only two PowerPoints. So it's really cheap. Yeah. So, 50 marks worth of ritual components. Yeah, because you're just doing double the power points of one. Yep. Yep. It is a ritual, but not a incredibly complex ritual. Right. Yeah. Fine, magic. Oh, and you said I got two levels? 
Uh, what do you mean? Of boost magic. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I won't... I won't do any blood sacrifice or anything. She said so casually. <laughs> <laughs> no blood it's, sacrifice this time. It's minus one plus one. And I got an eight. Nice. Alright, nice. So you, you sort of like stand on the in the middle of the deck and uh, like do sort of like a walk in a circle with uh, some like incense or whatever um, burning and uh, you you sort of channel um, your the magic slowly over the course of an hour um, and you get this sort of like out of body sensation as like the wind swirls around you you feel the uh, like the waves washing, uh, slapping against the hull, and uh, as the ritual completes, your your senses briefly sort of like expand out slowly into the eight mile range. Uh, you can't really see anything. You're just sort of aware of like your surroundings in the, like a very vague sense. Um, oh, but it's you... like um, I did water trapping, and like the water currents toward the source. Yeah. The water flows uh, around in like direction uh, of like uh, any any magic in the area, and um, it swirls and sort of comes down and like pulls down uh, fairly deep, several miles, uh, probably like a mile and a half, um, to an area that's just sort of like got this vague sort of static of magic around it. Nothing, like, singular source, but just, like, lots of little um, manifestations of, of minor magic. Gotta be it. Um, yeah, you kind of, like, let's see. You, you do not detect any other major magical sources other than that. Yeah, except for the ones on your ship, obviously, which are pretty strong. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, can I direct us to bring the ship, like, directly over? Um, you, you're fairly close. Uh, it's it's You're probably about two miles away from where it was, or, like, a mile uh, ocean-wise, like, Right. Horizontally. Uh, so you sort of like spin the ship about. Uh, it's sort of like to the northwest of your location. Um, but you get up uh, close to where, uh, like above where it was. And uh, looking down at the water, of course, you see only ocean darkness. Um, it's pretty far down. But uh, yeah, time for diving. <laughs> Sweet. All right, I think uh, it should be right below us. It's about a mile and a half down, though. Um, so how do you want to do this? Who is going down? Uh, strap cannonballs uh, to our feet. All three of us, right? Probably. I don't think Anson? anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Doggy paddling underwater. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe probably. I don't think you could convince Ensign to go underwater, even if you cast water rearing. <laughs> so uh, I'm yeah. thinking we both should cast elemental protection yep. on all three of us. Yep. Get a well, backup. Get a backup. I, don't even well. I think I should cast it as a ritual. Ah. And just give I you a set duration. Of go, both of us could go unconscious, and Mr. Dibs would still not instantly die. Well. <laughs> I if if you were unconscious, I would click my heels and grab you both, and we would just shoot up to the surface. It's it's like a mile and a half down. I know, but I don't think we'd live that long. How fast does it shoot you up? Uh, twelve squares around, which I mean, that's gotta be instant. It still bad. takes a while. And then the bends. Oh man, the bends. Oh, I know, but I mean, Mister Dibs doesn't know about the bends. Right? Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty <the> sure. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's Actually, all, I guess you would, that's all, you wouldn't yeah. be breathing like our uh, surface pressurized air. But you would, uh, yeah, you would, you'd be fine. 
Who knows? Uh, questions yeah. for questions for later. Well, I mean, you definitely it would take a while from um, like over a mile down, mm -hmm. so you might run out of of breathing <laughs> before you got up to the top. But so, yeah, that, that's uh, it might. For later. Mike, Mike can hold his breath for about two and a half minutes. Three. But like the pressure. Right. I mean, if you the want, pressure is the main thing. Yeah. yeah. If you want. I can stay up here because I mean, honestly, without being able to shoot a oh, shoot a rifle, right? So I can stay up here with the with the spell that way. I mean, uh, bolt works underwater. Yeah, you have a bolt spell. That's true. I mean, it's it's pretty easy for me to cast a ritual. Get it's on not it. a complex one. Get on with, it. Uh, yeah, with elemental protection at least. Yeah. It, it's two PowerPoints for an hour on, what, three of us? Elemental environment. I don't you like half water anyway. So it's four PowerPoints for an hour. So I could do eight PowerPoints for three hours, mm -hmm. which is pretty easy. Pretty easy stuff. That would give you plenty of time. It should. Would uh, you like to do that? Yeah. Do we want to get some, like, lead shoes set up or something, though? I'll go get the cannon shoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Use some cement shoes. Yep. I mean, just hold the cannonball, yeah. Yep, that's what I was going to say. I'll just strap. I'll get I'll get those extra dog leashes and stuff and make make shackle cannon. Or or just just like a haversack. Yeah, there you go. All right, all right. I'll I'll start doing the ritual. All right. Here's everyone's cannonball fanny pack. <laughs> Um, I haven't dropped your your bonus for spell casting. Ooh, super spell. Useful. Uh, are you going to uh, are you going to blood cast or anything, Tar? Um, I can't use Benny's to ignore those, right? Uh, well, you can. You can do you normal one Benny bloodcast, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, n normal rules for bloodcasting when on rituals. Okay. But then I wouldn't get a reroll. That's true. Um. Because it's minus four plus one, minus three. Unless, actually, I think you can just. Uh, I will spend the Benny to do one level of blood cast. I don't want to take Give it. Give me a plus one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I rolled two threes. Oh, just Which enough. Which puts me at a four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> baby. All right. Yeah. So I mean, it, you you have to push yourself a little bit uh, with the, the you know the second ritual in such sort short succession. Um, but you kind of uh, you get your two targets to sort of sit there. Uh, being the subjects, you guys have to be near her for the hour that it takes to cast. Um, well, I mean, since that since we have to be around here for an hour, I'll make a barrel of that stuff. <laughs> Okay, sure. Yeah, barrel of whiskey. Yep, done. <laughs> I mean, I got a roll. And the crew just like sit down on deck as you guys just like sit there and like, like meditate and and play music and stuff. It's like, yeah, we're we're gonna go diving. We gotta prep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, we're yeah. fucking hippies. All the head officers are gonna all grab a cannonball and jump overboard. <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> wow, we're just insane. Well, they're all, all right, dead. Buddy, who's who's the new captain? Paul's in charge. 
Yeah, so, so Tara, for, for this... Uh, Paul and Ensign. <laughs> elemental protection spell, you, you get, like, a bowl of seawater up and, like, place it between you. Uh, and, like, as you sort of work the spell, you sort of wind the, the, the currents of water around the three of you, and uh, the water sort of, like... Um, slides out of the bowl and like uh swirls around the three of you uh like at the at your feet and um and then sort of like is like droplet by droplet uh sort of like plucked up and absorbed into you uh to form this sort of like cocoon of of protection around you and by the end of it there's no obvious uh change although if you guys didn't already smell like salt and seawater, uh, you would now. Okay. But you're, you're sailors, so you always smell like that. Yep. All right. Uh, you are prepared. All right, Captain. My barrel's done. How's yours? I think we're good to go. Great. All right. Crew. We'll be back. We're gonna go dive and delve them deeps. If we're not back in three hours, we're probably dead. If we're not back in three hours, wait five more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> do me, uh, do me, and and uh, um, Harun sort of nod and uh, is like, "All right, Captain, Mister Dibs." I'll tell Paul to listen to listen to do me, do what he says. Mm -hmm. All goes flutters near doing like rock. Shiver me timbers. Uh, I leave all my guns on deck. Leave no survivors, rock. <laughs> no quarter. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to bring any guns down there. There's leave your guns. Yeah, yeah they pointless. don't work very well in water. That's pointless. Yeah. So lots of melee. I look at Robin. You want one of these? I, I point to one of my weapons. Um, scimitar, rapier, or donzire. You could have that fire bolt if you want. We can distribute magic. I'll just i'll I'll take the rapier, I guess. All right, here you go. The only one you can effectively yeah. wield. Yep, D four yeah. plus strength, plus one to parry. Awesome. Yep. Although she's not nearly strong enough to use it. No, no, forget about that. <laughs> Robin fires that, she goes flying backwards. <laughs> the harpoon stays still. <laughs> like Looney Tunes. Yes, <laughs> yes, Looney Tune physics. Yep. All right. Um, okay, so you guys distribute your weapons and each take a, uh, a cannonball sack or holding yep. one. Yep. And I, jump overboard. I, I, made, I made cannon sacks. Okay. Yep. So you got a little knapsack with uh with your diving belt. Yep. In it. Can we just like? Is it just like tied to our belt or something? Yeah, it works. However, yeah. I, I just... want to be able to cut it off quickly. If we yeah, it'd be a way to get rid of it quickly. Oh, I, I I made a I made a escape hatch on the cannonball. You just pull this string and the thing just falls out. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure it doesn't like. Hit your foot or something. Yeah, yeah, right. It's still a cannonball. Still... Um, Alright, so you guys jump over the side. Yep. And uh, plunge down into the cold depths of the water. Uh, the, 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 oh. the temperature... Oh, Sorry, is before we go, I, I'm taking the thistle with me. Okay. Right, you can detach it from, the, uh, from your rifle? Yeah. Wait, did you, what does that did, look like? Uh, did you put it on a, a different weapon, or are you just? Nope, I'm nope. I, I have it for the. Uh... Okay. Uh, you probably don't notice her her taking it. Honestly, like, okay. it's it's like she just kind of like while you're doing the ritual and Mister Dibs is playing, just sort of like pulls it off of the rifle and slips it into a pocket or something. Um. I mean, you so, can look at it if you want. I don't care. <laughs> I'm sure it will come up uh, as soon as you actually get a chance to use it. Um, yeah, so you guys plunge down into the depths of the water. Um, 
the uh, water is cool, uh, but the protection keeps you from uh, freezing or anything. And uh, you're able to, to breathe easily uh, as you slide down and the, the light of the sun slowly grows dimmer and dimmer as the, the water turns from uh, a light blue to a darker blue. Should have thought of that. Uh, we all have dark sight with our eyes. Okay. As you go down, <laughs> shoom, the, the, the depths sort of adjust and turn slightly like gray tone uh, as the, uh, the sun's light is amplified and you can uh, see more clearly. Uh, so you get sort of an outline of the bottom of the ocean uh, here where you seem to be on a a point that's still uh, not not deep ocean um, but sort of at the brink of a uh, uh, a fairly large drop off that goes quite a ways down um, uh, as you head down further though uh, you begin to see little pinpricks of light beneath you. Um, faint, eerie, flickering blue flames. Dancing amidst uh, something. They're kind of like flickering on and out uh, as, as you, you see them. And as you get closer, you see that there are... Um, the area you're coming down to... It, uh, on the edge is this massive uh, bed of kelp and a lot of the uh, there's like scattering bits of kelp that are on fire oh. the... um, if you guys would like to give me a notice roll yeah penalties yep okay. Full penalties. Oh, three. Nice. I got a zero I got a three yeah I Come on, a, two eyes. Uh, you know, we we have. I I, I haven't spent a single penny. Yet, yeah. So. <laughs> you got five oh. freaking pennies. <laughs> Come on, two we'll throw, eyes. We'll throw a couple. <laughs> there it is. Fourteen. Fourteen. Let's All right. So, thing. Mr. Dibs and Tara, you're just kind of like impressed with the, the eerie beauty of the the burning blue kelp um at the bottom of the ocean yeah it's pretty crazy um robin you kind of spot uh near the sort of like far end of the the burning kelp patch um you see uh the like a chunk of of like wood uh it looks like the end of a ship just can we talk underwater? Um, you have to be really can. close. Anything yeah, you have to be close. But yeah. It, environmental protection allows the target to breathe, speak, and move at normal pace. We can't okay. be, we have to be able to hear. Here. Environment, et cetera. Yeah, I would say like if you're within arm's length of each other, you can talk and communicate without any issue. Okay. Further away, it might get kind of difficult to make out specific things just because of. Uh, also, what's the light situation uh, like down here? You guys got dark sight. Okay. So, it is dark. It's dark, but, but we can see. All right. You can see. Uh, I, I used a mind link talisman to link all of us. Okay. That works. There's a ship. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's ours. It's up there. <laughs> it, it's. It's not near the blue lights. It is. Uh, it is near the blue lights. Yeah, it's kind of on the northern edge of the like scattered, burning kelp. Oh, um, go there. But yeah, you head down, and it looks to be a um, the sort of back chunk of the ship, which. Is it on fire? Uh, I suppose it would be gone if it was. There are a couple of small, like almost candle-like flames burning along the the bits of the wood. Um, here, I'm. We will obviously end the session here, but I just want to mm -hmm. go over to the map here so you can get a, a little visual on what I'm talking about. Pretty That's much. So cool. you guys would be coming from this side. Oh. Oh, cool. 
the bottom. Yeah, this is a neat map. Is is this down or is this down? This is down. Oh wait, what? This, Where are you? Okay. So this is the plateau. Yeah, this, this is, is the plateau, plateau, and this is the deeper area. Okay. okay. And you got the the kelp here, uh, which is like uh, it's like black uh, kelp. And is it is the density fairly represented, or is it denser than this? Uh, in this area, it is it represented fairly. It looks like there are like burnt stems, like husks of kelp around here. So like, there are some that have been burnt away. It looks like this fire has been going for like, you know, That's since true. you guys saw yeah. um, a while back. It's just been slowly consuming. <laughs> the slowest forest fire there is. Yeah, <laughs> underwater forest fire that last month. The impossible uh, kind of forest fire. Yeah. You know why? No one, no one is raking the ocean floor. Right. <laughs> Gotta be raking that shit. Need some muckrakers <laughs> down there. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, so next time, you guys will explore this. Yes, and then we delve the deeps. Onward to some more stuff. Some Varkalish. A similar vein. <laughs> this is your, this is your <laughs> warm up. Run. Yeah. This is your warm up dive. Yep. <laughs> this is where we learn what else we need when we do a deep water dive. I mean, well, it's really not a bad idea. Well, see, this is this is where we make all the mistakes. Like, yeah. uh, like let's purposely f try and go recklessly so we know what our moves, <laughs> you know, what what our I mean, problems uh, are. <laughs> one would assume that the deep vault is fairly deep underwater. Yeah. So yeah. It's it's deeper than gravy. Bones is dinner table. <laughs> this under gravy bones this dinner table yes that's that's where that's where uh, you feed his dog yep all right uh cool. yeah so we'll pick up there next time good yeah. session yeah. yes uh one xp one xp uh, ah ah little uh almost like a, a slice of life uh episode. yep did a lot of random stuff. <laughs> yeah, sorry if uh, I did. If my some uh, some role play just took over the session. I know I was talking for a long time. <laughs> oh, met that one thief guy. Picked up a furry friend. Yeah. A not so friendly furry friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thief we're gonna get back on the ship, and I wasn't be dead. <laughs> <laughs> the dog. And Anson sits in the middle of the ship. And wags his tail. Surrounded by corpses. <laughs> oh! You killed our entire crew? I'm not even mad. That's impressive. Oh, I, one thing I should point out. Uh, Ensign uh, immediately takes to the three Karaites. Nice. Wait, 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 That's wait, wait. odd, but... Nice. Takes to them how? Uh, he, he is, is in cool. In a friendly enough. manner? Yeah, friendly. Or in a chasing he, them down manner. He follows them around and... Uh, they they go up to try and like pet him and and can do so without any growling. Oh. Okay. I wonder if they associated that smell with friend. Hmm. Robin, I you should try. I that. have a smell. I mean, apparently you do. <laughs> I'm gonna be pretty self conscious about that. I think for a while. <laughs> <As> a <laughs> <girl>. Yeah. <laughs> the dog says you smell funny. <laughs> Yeah. And a, your self-esteem is destroyed. So <laughs> on a ship full of sailors. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you smell probably better. So, than that. so <laughs> the dog probably means good. <laughs> you smell funny, you know, different than the rest of these filthy fuckers. <laughs> so I don't know what the what the what the word is. Oh, you mean good? I smell good. That's probably it. <laughs> Dogs never smelled something good before. Exactly. <laughs> So that's how you got it. All right. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. uh, so thanks for playing. Yeah. Good game. Next later, time. Later, later. No, we don't.